Hi. <laughs> so if you don't know, I just graduated. I'm a college grad, a community college grad, and I have my associate's degree. You know, I tell people that and a lot of them are like, hey, you know, that is an accomplishment and you should be proud of it. And I'm like, that's true, but I know a lot of people are probably just sad for me. And they're like, where is her GoFundMe? I'm going to send a screenshot of it to our classmates from high school. <laughs> I was going to film this earlier in the day and drink some coffee. But it's like 10 o'clock, so now I just have this can of rosé. What bothers me about cans is that the rim is just out in the open in the stores. And that's ultimately what we put our mouth on. That's so gross. I think cans should be banned during COVID. Anyway, so this is kind of going to be like a drunk history, but it's just going to be me drunk telling you the history of me that nobody asked for. I feel shame, so I'm gonna freaking talk to this camera and tell you my education journey. Okay, let me see if I can get this right. So it all started in 2012. Me in a college prep high school. Everyone there was really smart and I wasn't dumb, but while this school set me up for academic success, I feel like for me it backfired because it gave me too much confidence in my brain and my brain power just like doesn't, it's not a wind farm, you know, it's like one of those like little pinwheel things that my brain is like something that's really not powerful. My brain isn't there, I think. I don't know. Okay, so let's just get into college. I went to a college in North Carolina called Elon University for one year. I, I did not have a good time. Um, I think the common theme throughout all of these stories is just that I was incredibly unstable. So I had high hopes for this place because it was like one of the best schools in the South and it, it has the prettiest campus according to like BuzzFeed or something. At our freshman orientation, we had to do this like little exercise with our group about listing bad things in order of like how bad they were there were like two options one was like propping open the suite door that like led into all the other dorm rooms versus smoking weed and someone said smoking weed was worse <laughs> but i was like wait smoking weed only affects you but if you prop open a door that leads to everyone else's doors that's putting them at risk and they were like, yeah, but that's not even illegal. And I was like, I didn't know what that was at that point, but that was red flag number one. God, that was like such a mess. Literally all I did was like cry and then go to fraternity parties and then like get emotionally wounded and then like run out. <laughs> I was just so emotional all the time. I did not want to be there at all. I could not find my people, and I'm sure they were there, but there were a lot of people who were not my people. At that point, at the end of the year, I was like, I don't know if I want to come back, but I knew like deep down I would because I was like, oh, I'm just gonna like join the drill team or like join more clubs or put myself out there more. And so I was hopeful about going back. But then at like the end of the summer, my family was like, we simply ran out of money, dude. And I was like, okay. This was probably like July when I found out. So it was kind of like too late for me to apply to actual like other good schools that I could afford. So I was like, what am I going to do? This disrupted my four year plan so hard. So at that point, the only place I could think of going was a college in my hometown. It was called Firelands. 
and oh my god i did not want to go to fireland so bad but i was like i have to keep going to school obviously so i guess i'm gonna have to go there at this point i was just like life is so unfair and probably the peak of my like whole superiority complex was when i went to this school so basically when i was at fireland i like oh, i was so ugly i feel like i just didn't even take care of myself because i was just like mad at the world and i wanted to go to a good college and i just felt like so much shame from you know, leaving my hometown to go an hour away to high school every day just to end up back in my hometown with people I went to public school with. And like, that's so awful to say, but that's exactly how I felt. I wish I could say that whenever I was at this school, I like completely got over my like weird ego problems, but that's not what happened at all. That's another thing I was so mad about. I took all of these classes at Elon University, which is like a difficult school, and then Fireland wouldn't accept the credits. They're more rigorous classes. Like, what do you mean you, you're not going to accept them? And they're like, well, we just don't know the school. And I'm like, you know, that's wrong. But it was also like, I don't know, I felt like it was very arrogant of me to be like, how dare you like talk to me like that? You know, I went to like a good school for one year. Hello? You actually are a professional person working at a college, but like, do you know who I am? Like I went to a college prep school. Like <laughs> I did this internship, which like really messed up my four year plan once again. It's now I'm gonna take off a whole semester to do an internship, but honestly that was like the best thing I could have done because of the experience it gave me. So I feel like that was like the one good thing I've done. That was like a smart thing to do. So we went from Elon to Firelands to internship. And then I decided to move from Huron to Columbus. So I enrolled at Columbus State Community College, which I wasn't mad about because it was in a city and I felt like a city community college would actually be better than like a small town community college just because there'd be different kinds of people. So I just went there and I don't know what my plan was. <laughs> I don't know how I got here. I think once I went to Columbus State, I like kind of got over my superiority complex. Not completely, but a whole lot. I think I just learned to trust other people to be smart. It's just so funny to me how going to Elon, they like constantly preached about diversity and like privilege and how you have to admit to your privilege and like me going there, I was like, that doesn't even exist. And literally everyone else said that because we were all like, very privileged. It never even sank in until I went to a community college. <laughs> I feel like Columbus State was probably the best school I went to in like the whole spectrum of colleges I attended. What on earth are you doing? The professors were just like professors at other colleges. Some of them cared and some of them did not. I keep asking myself who I wish I could have gone to Elon for all four years. I think when I left, if I had continued going there, like how my mind was, I would have not thrived. <laughs> I would just cry all the time and feel bad for no reason. Like I have a great life now and I'm proud of the fact that I've continued going to school even though like my plans were completely derailed but you know I would have liked to go to a four-year university. It's not like a tragedy. I think I've grown so much as a person and I don't think that would have happened if I had stayed at that school in a small town with people who were all the same. I wasn't happy there. I think I just would have become a worse person, 
honestly, but you know, I can't say that exactly. I don't know what would have happened. I'm very lucky that I've had the opportunities that I've had. Education is a journey. I don't think in 10 years I'm going to even be bothered by the fact that I've taken this route instead of like the original four year route I had planned. I'm happy that I have a degree and I'm happy that I'm not a terrible person who cries all the time. I think ultimately I'm just gonna have to like get a job based on oh, pretty privilege or something. Goodness.